So today I'm here to show you how to add some outline to your subject. And this is going to be the new series, the new quick tip Thursday that I already made some time ago and I stopped and I'm going to relaunch that. So every Thursday I'm going to release a new video about some quick tips that you can use inside of the DaVinci Resolve. So let's go into the computer and let me show you how easy it is to create that outline. So here we are inside of the edit page and if we going to outline a PNG file, it's very easy. So I'm going to add here a picture of a dog. So it's the, the king and let's add an outline here to the dog. So we go to the fusion page since it's a PNG and it doesn't have any background. If it has a background, you have to remove the background. But in, in this case, it's a PNG without background. So you're going to come here to the templates, to the fusion templates, to the tools and look for the edge control, drag it over and here and immediately you see the outline of the dog. And now you can adjust everything in here. Do it like this. You can add and add blur. You can contrast everything and here post blur. You can adjust everything. And now you can simply connect this over here. And let's put something like this. And it's done. So you have your image if you go to the edit page you have your dog with the outline this is one way and of course it's white if you want to change the color you can do it like this let's delete here this one this one we have it like this go to the edit page and drag it the dog and now you have it now you can go to select this one go to the color page and with the this selected you can come here to the HDR and let's, for example, let's give it a yellow. And if you go to the edit page, look, we have it like that, or you can do it very easily. But if you want to do the same, but in a clip, let's delete this. You have to remove the background from your clip. If you use the free version, you have to do it manually and add masks and rotoscope, everything. If you have studio version, it's much easier. You come, you put your clip, let's add a, a clip. Let me do it like this five seconds. And we go to the color page, go here to the magic mask, add here the play thing you and to select. I always do better and I track it both sides and it's done. I'm going here, add an alpha output, connect the alpha output and in the edit page, as you can see, we don't have the background, but you cannot work with this here. If I go to the fusion immediately, you see that the background is there. And if you do here the same, Templates, Fusion, Tools, Edge Control, it doesn't work. So how do I resolve this? Go to the Deliver page over here and you have to choose the format QuickTime, the codec, DNX, HR, and then over here, enable the Export Alpha, Add to Render Queue and render it. And after that, you will import that file again. And let me remove it. And I already have it here. As you can see, I have this file and this file doesn't have background because if I put here a solid color and I change this to something like this, as you can see, it doesn't have background. So now it's very easy. You just come here, go to the Fusion page and do exactly the same templates, Fusion, Tools. Put it here and immediately you see the outline. Now you just have to adjust the outline. And go to the edit, do the same. And you have your outline. And if you want to change the color, 
here with the, this one selected. You can change the look, it's blue or it's uh, red. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to add the outline, especially if you have the um, studio version. Of course, as I said, you can do it in the free version because this tool, the Fusion tool, the Edge Control, is available on the free version. The only thing that's difficult to create is the removing the background in the free version because you have to add a, a mask and rotoscope everything, all the frames, and that will give you a, a lot of work. But if you have the Fusion or if you want to do it for... Uh, a simple image, for example, for a thumbnail for YouTube, you can easily create here and it's very, very easy. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button, that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time on Lunch TV. Until then, bye.